We're glad that you decided to uh, join us here in this time and place. All the particular references that you have given yourself in the purpose for being here, we hope and trust that you'll be willing to lay aside for just a moment here in time. For in this moment, in time, if you can accept the fundamental premise of my offering to you, is the time and place where the entirety of the dilemma of your location in this place of uh, sickness and loneliness and death was resolved all around the world now through the auspices of the saviorship of Jesus Christ and his incredible workbook of A Course in Miracles. The text of his declaration of your perfection is resounding with a very basic realization that the decision to be the manner in which I am observing you at this time and place was yours to make. The reports concerning uh, the healings that have been going on, among them uh, arthritis, remember? Now thousands of people around the world are reporting a relief in the laying down of the burden of the necessity to suffer from this condition. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that was a review of an energy flow that brings a response to your idea of arthritis. Do you see that? Parkinson's disease, remember? Was it just yesterday or a hundred years ago that we offered you the certainty that the time and place that you are in you can recover from the dilemma of the displacement that has heretofore afforded you no relief for the manner in which you are constructed within the uh, fearful idea of your self-identity. So the healing videos, here they are. The moment of correspondence that offered you that relief okay, from necessity to suffer from anything are the purpose for this attraction. So if uh, for any reason you believe that there is a reason other than the totality of your recovery from the sleep of death and that you heretofore used to represent yourself uh, are a belief for why you're here. I would ask that you just for a moment tolerate the totality of a realization of a methodology, the momentary study of a method that continues to offer you a relief in the decision-making capacity. There's no question that the power and light that is being provided to you at this moment will change your mind about your alternatives within time, decision-making faculties in a moment's realization that you are actually whole and perfect as you were created. The light, this light of healing, first will give you perhaps a great deal of peace because you will understand at this time and place that the entirety of the solution is available to you, not contained within the decision-making factors of your own mind, but in a sudden revelation of the light and love that's shining all around you. Is it a miracle? 
Yes. Yeah, so you, you begin to see that light, don't you? You might want to say to me, I, I think this is a miracle. We like to look at the manner sometimes in which the miracle came about in our minds, and there's really no secret about the manner in which most of us came to know, okay, that the problem contained within ourselves in regard to the unmanageability that we were experiencing could not be solved out in this world. The basis of the teaching of Jesus Christ are as that you will never be successful in solving the problem of the decision that you have made to remain in separation and your necessity to call on a power, whatever it may be, greater than yourself, to solve it are the nature in which many of us came to know this. Sometimes when we begin to talk about recovery, we have a tendency to believe that if we take uh, this uh, holy scripture, this scripture from the Savior of uh, Jesus Christ, who represents the Christian tradition in the manner in which together we can fight this battle and seek a solution, as he declares uh, uh, in the doctrine of his declaration that you can overcome the world is a manner in which it was accomplished in many of us. Certainly in my case, that was not true. Okay? My solution was not to thump the Bible. I'll try it if you want me to. Here is the living Son of God giving you answers to all the problems that you could ever have. And I used to listen to that. And I'd say, which part of it gives me the answer? Which part of it is going to remind me that the solution lies in me, not out in the world? Which part of the scripture am I going to accept that indicate that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is in fact my Savior? Certainly in the progress that I have made in regard to this idea of salvation based on the surrendering of my will has led me to the certainty that the scripture of Jesus are to draw my direct attention. First of all, that I can't solve the problem that I feel in the pain and death of my human association, and that he will be a provision, a spiritual provision within my heart and mind, wherein the problem can be solved. The solution that I am representing to you is one of my determination as an adept to the need to sedate myself from the unsolvable problems of this world that I was experiencing led me to a point in my mind where I saw there was no solution. I ask for help from whatever power might be. There's always a certain curiosity about teaching to, and I'm sure you're aware that we're speaking of a, the recovery of the 12-step program. We're speaking of the certainty that it's possible for you at a moment of totality of despondency to turn your will and your life over to the care of God. The dilemma that you encounter in the idea of turning your will over to a power always involves the need for you to identify what the power is. We end up uh, offering some sort of uh, resolution to the problem by telling you you're turning your life over to a power greater than yourself. Now, the attention that you don't turn your will and your life over to God are simply indications that the conceptual mind believes there's different gods or different kinds of gods, and you fully intend to turn your will and your life over to a God that you can understand within the particulars of the irresolution you express in the pain that you identify as unsolvable. 
The simple truth of the matter is this entire offering to you is to turn your will and your life over to the inevitable conclusion of yourself in relationship with the addiction from which you previously suffered in your determination to somehow adjust to the incredible ideas of loneliness and pain that constitute this world. 